Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got, I'm hoping, what turns out to be like a spicy day. I want to catch a snakehead. I am at the perfect lake, I'm told, by a lot of locals uh, here in the Stafford, more so Quantico area. This is Marine Corps Base Quantico, headquarters of Marine Corps. And this, uh, this small lake, has a lot of snakehead uh, fish so I'm hoping to be able to tie into one I'm using a black and blue chatterbait that's what I've been told as well through tips that you all have recommended to me uh, that will work out here we're gonna see if it does and if it doesn't then we'll just swap it out until we figure out whatever it is that they want to bite on so uh, hang tight, we're gonna continue fishing and let's see if we can get anything else aside of that long nose gar. Thank you again, welcome to the channel. Look at that. <laughs> Had a stupid gar, my gosh. That was one of your long nose type. Casting, casting, casting. Oh my lord, I hope the leader isn't messed up. And yeah, after that incident, I think, no, we're good. I was gonna say, I think we have to change. Oh, long nose gar going after it again. Man, oh man. I saw the wake. I just didn't know what kind of fish it was. Thank goodness he didn't get a hold of it because if he does, then uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the end of it. I'm not using a very heavy leader at all. It's only a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader, and that will surely be the end of that lure. That kind of suck. These things ain't cheap. Uh, lots of grass over here. I'm thinking about switching it up altogether because I just keep having to do that after every two or three casts. It's just a bit too shallow for this lure and I'm trying to hold my rod tip up to keep all that stuff off of it. Oh my God, that was a gar, it had to be. I don't know if snakeheads have teeth. I'm pretty sure they do because of how vicious they are. I don't know, but uh, I just lost my micro chatterbait. That was a lot of money that we just gave up right there on the hook set. <laughs> I instinctively just set that hook and uh, yeah, well, when you're in fresh water, that's what I do at least. Uh, wow. So just lost the hook. Let's tie on something that I don't care about losing. Just so that I can feel good about myself if I lose something else to whatever it was that just thumped the crap out of my lure. Alright, so I just had a quick discussion with myself and said, uh, well, why do you buy these lures? Said that's to catch fish. Okay, so tie it on. Here we go. <laughs> If we lose it, then uh, I guess it just wasn't meant to be for the day. But that was the first and only bite that I have had all day long. And it felt really good. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Another update. Uh, just did a battery swap. That's about the only action that y'all missed. I am now throwing one of my saltwater paddle tails that uh, I normally would use for water this color. The only thing that I can uh, come up with is that the water is like really dirty because of the rains that just came through yesterday. And uh, it got it really nice and just like milky. Normally it's just a regular tannic stained color, but uh, not today and I haven't really seen anybody bring anything up. I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed 
and keep plugging away. Keep casting because uh, if you don't, then you just can't catch a fish if your line is not inside the water. I know, I didn't make that one up, but uh, it's the truth. Oh, there we go. Look at that, man. I, I mean, no sooner than what I just said. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. That was my snakehead, everyone. That was my snakehead. Oh, my gosh. That, that would have... Oh, my gosh. That guy had a massive, like a huge head. A big old mouth. Oh my gosh, I got that got my heart pumping right there. My blood is going. Uh, we're gonna keep casting. I think we've got the perfect lure. Just started throwing this and uh, whew, let's let's keep at it. Oh man, oh man, did you all see that? I don't know how to hook these fellas. Good lord. Like, he had it in his mouth. I saw the line moving, and I'm like winding up for the hook set. Set the hook, and the dude just like lets it go. Kind of like a flounder whenever they got it on their mouth, but they don't have it all the way in to get completely hooked. Wow. It's not for a lack of effort, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all out there who have caught a snakehead before is like, dude, it's so easy. <laughs> I, I promise you I'm not trying to intentionally let these guys go. I want to catch my first snakehead. Good night. That was not an aggressive bite either. It was just like a small little thump. There we go. Oh, that's a bass. That's a nice chunk right there. Goodness gracious, these guys are healthy. Look at, he's short and stocky. Look at that. Oh my God, bro, I will take you. You are deformed. Seriously, I don't care. I'll take a deformed bass over getting skunked. Yes, nice healthy chunk, baby. Yeah, all right, my little brother. Time for you to go back home. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, this is the last cast right here. I've got to start heading back in and prep, prepare, get home, prepare for a smally trip tomorrow. So let's uh, get this guy retrieved back in. Man, snakeheads. They've uh, they got my number all day long. Wow. I cannot believe this. I got skunked. On the snakeheads. Oh my god. Gotcha. Oh, I saw him. He bit it. Oh no, dude. What is going on, dude? Like, I seriously, I saw the dude. There he is right there. Okay, let's see. Is he going to bite it again? No, he's not. He ain't stupid. <laughs> Gosh. I could have swore I set the hook strong enough. Oh, my gosh, bro. What is going on, Mark? Why can you not set the hook on these guys? Cannot keep losing fish, so what I'm going to do is put on a bigger hook. We're going to put a 4 aught. This is a 3 aught right here that we're using. I'm going to put a 4 on and we'll hope for the best. Gosh. Like I seriously thought I had that fella. Every time I've got the bite, I thought I had them hooked. Every time. And every time, they just spit it at me. Thank you.
Alrighty, everyone, that, that's going to do it. I am like lost for words as far as what happened. Five swings and a miss. And uh, the only thing that I can come up with is that the snakehead bit my, like the tail end of my lure, never really had it inside their mouth. And so every time I try to set the hook, at least what I thought, like I was setting the hook, they probably had such a good grip on that lure that I was able to bring them back to the kayak and then they just let go of it. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of, but uh, I'm gonna go back out to that lake and give it another go until I'm able to successfully land my first one. So uh, yeah, I, overall I, I'm pretty satisfied with the, uh, the outing, being able to land a nice chunky largy. That was pretty good. Uh, tomorrow I'm going towards the James River uh, meeting up with uh, an Instagram guy who is a guide and uh, he says he can put me on some nice size smallies so hopefully we're gonna land a donkey or two and then after I get back to the Quantico Stafford area I will give it another good go at that lake so uh, yeah that's gonna do it I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, click that thumbs up button. For each and every one of y'all that are new to the channel and you clicked on my video because of the title, do me a favor. Stick around for a little bit, watch some of my other videos, and if you enjoy that content, then please consider subscribing. That is it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.